Hello everyone. Well, it's a nice afternoon today. I thought I'd come outside and do a little video of my hardy trees. Uh, first of all, here's my apple. And it's all in color, as you can see. It's looking pretty nice. A lot of these leaves will be dropping off over the next couple weeks. And you can see my little Manitoba maples. The leaves have already fell off. There's a little one. And my little cedar cuttings are doing okay. They're a little over a year old, so they did grow a little bit this year. There's my other Manitoba maple. And also down and behind here is a couple, a couple apple trees that were started from seed. So they did okay this year as well. And now they're changing color, the leaves. Here's another cedar cutting that I started a year ago. It also grew this year quite well. About three inches on this side actually in a couple of spots. So yeah, that did quite well. I have some crab apple cuttings in this container here. We'll see how they do if they ended up rooting. We'll find out if they come back next spring. And there's one over there that's still got some leaves on it that hasn't changed color yet. They're kind of green, so these are from back in the late spring. So, well, we'll see what happens with those. And here's my larger Manitoba maple. You'll recognize this. This one. Now, these trees, I had them on the back bench out in my backyard and now I've got them up closer to the back of the house up on the table because I'll be putting them in the garage before too long here maybe in about another three weeks so yeah the leaves are already gone off of it these leaves on the Manitoba maples, they never really change color. They just kind of turn brown and shrivel up and fall off. And here's the cedar trees. You'll remember these. I brought these home after I dug them up, just outside of a fence line. I got these out the back of my, my property here. And they've been here all summer, and they've uh, come back quite well. So I'll be overwintering these in the garage also, just to help them along. And I've got some plans for at least one of these in the spring. And if we come over here... I got some small little cedars. I got these when I was up north. Um, I got these about halfway through the summer. So we'll see how they do. Hopefully they'll come back next spring. They're in the ground and they're kind of protected. They're in behind some larger cedars that I have out back here for my hedging. So. They're kind of protected from a lot of the, the raw wind. This one's got some really neat movement on the trunk. Definitely different. So I'm going to be potting these up in the spring. And you guys will remember my, my periwinkle. Well, it ended up coming back and doing quite well, actually. 
there's a there's some growth there you can see that did end up coming back we got some all inside here and we did have some more come out near the top so yeah it did uh, it did all right So I'm just going to leave it in the flower garden here and uh, we're going to be looking at this in the springtime. We'll put it in a, we'll get it into a pot. I might make up a wooden box for it. Yep, and we're pretty much done with the garden now also. The tomatoes are all done. I'll be taking all of these down real soon. Um, I'm still pulling carrots out over here. Other than that, the garden's pretty much done. Uh, something else that we're still picking on here a little bit. We have some oregano, uh, the cilantro is all done, some parsley, and we still have some rosemary left. So I'm likely going to be bringing the rosemary inside. That's good stuff. Well it's all good stuff, <laughs> but I think my favorites are rosemary. Yeah, other than that, everything else is done here. Yeah, a couple other smaller ones here is uh, my little ginkgo seedling. Um, this is about a year old. There is a couple of leaves on it. And they've changed a yellow color and fell off. There they are here. You can see them. So I'll also be putting I'll also be putting this little guy in the garage also and overwinter him and he should come back better next year. I also had him in the garage last winter. Um, I was surprised that he actually grew this summer because last spring um, something had taken this right off and it grew back. And I, uh, I was really surprised that it came back. So I guess I'm, I'm lucky enough to have what I have out of this little tree right now. So hopefully nothing will nibble on it in my garage this year. And it'll grow even taller next year. Here's my little spruce. You will remember this one. I also collected this little guy last spring with those uh, cedar trees that I just showed you that were in the black pots. So it really hasn't grown much since the spring. It just shot out this new shoot here not too long ago and that was about it. So I'm also going to be putting this one in the garage. Actually I'll show you those other uh, those other spruces that I planted in the ground. So if we come out the back here, out behind all these weeds, this is my little spruce trees that I got. You'll remember these. They done very well and did a little bit of growing but not a lot. The other little ones down in there So yeah, they're doing very well. I also have plans for those this spring. Yeah, the uh, the old larch never did come back. So I'll just be pulling it out of that pot. And I'll cut it up and uh, 
I'll probably just use it as firewood. I'll have to start another one someday. Well, that's it for my hardy trees. I hope to collect more next spring and add to my little collection. That's it for today, guys. We'll talk to you soon.